many of those businesses in the Uptown area depend on ECU students as customers and employees. WNCT's Tamara Scott spoke with businesses finally getting back to normal after an unexpected week-long break from school. Hear that? That's the sound of a busy lunch shift at Sup Dog's restaurant. Last week, it didn't sound like that. It was definitely a decline. Sup Dog's manager, John Huey, says between curfews. Yeah, basically, we were just having to go day by day and play it by ear, you know, hearing from the mayor if we were going to have to close early. And evacuations. Having to worry about being at work and actually having a place to stay that night, you know, I know that was a struggle. Hurricane Matthew set them back on what was supposed to be a busy week with the scheduled Thursday night pirate football game. Actually starts picking up usually around on normal days uh, five six seven o'clock so yeah that was definitely a tough loss for us some of their employees were evacuated and had to find a place to live in order to continue working well, luckily we're all family here and we were all trying to help each other out you know make sure people had a place to stay across the street at catalog connection they faced a similar problem business was going to be booming as usual on our game weeks. Um, we lost all of that. Manager Meredith Rowe says a lot of ECU student employees couldn't get back in town from fall break. We kind of had to scrounge around, figure out a new schedule to make sure the people that lived here were working instead of them so they wouldn't have to travel back and they were safe. Now with everyone back, both businesses are looking for ways to make up for lost revenue. They did reschedule the game for November 19th on a Saturday, so that'll still help us. We'll still have it. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. Aro says they plan to have extended hours during game days like in the past to make up for lost time.